Hello, Scrappy Peeps. Susanna here today for the Scrap Room to share with you this summer layout created using the Summer Snapshots from Simple Stories uh, kit in the Flavor of the Month kit. So if you subscribe, you will get that digital cut file access as well as these embellishments. So you will get a mixture of the bits and pieces and journaling bits as well as some foam stickers. There are three patterned papers. I will show you the front and back and I will do that very carefully so that I don't lose bits and pieces of that digital cut file. So a floral, some fun colored Polaroids, as well as a water scene, um, lovely stripes, a floral tone on tone yellow, two pieces of natural smooth cardstock. I love the smooth. And then if you subscribe to the add-ons, the embellishment add-on is this full sheet of stickers from the collection. And then the pattern paper add-ons, you get these two pieces, as well as the others from the other flavor of the month kits. So that is what I am creating with today. So I, have, as you can see, have used the um, digital cut file and I am using um, a blue cardstock from my collection as well as the ivory. Um, and then I'm going to, I've cut out layers. So I've created a um, in, inlay for the outlined letters and I'm using a fine tip applicator to apply that to uh, the backing that I have there. Now I end up putting this actually on the ivory cardstock, so I didn't really need to back it, um, but I wasn't sure at the time that that's what I was going to do. I actually thought I was going to use pattern paper in the background, um, but I do like that it actually gave me the depth. It creates a different effect when you layer the cut files, um, so there's a little bit of dimension there. So just trying to figure out what I want to back this camera with or Polaroid, um, if I even want to back it, and in the process I decide, oh, I really like these multicolor Polaroids and I'm going to use those um, on the layout itself. I know I don't want to use them as an entire sheet, so I want to cut them apart. I had thought about uh, inking the edges, which you could totally do just to add a little bit more shadow to each one, um, but I... <laughs> the thing about inking is it's very hard to control the amount of ink that you apply um, and I'm more of a clean lines kind of gal and um, I, I don't like the distressed look a whole whole lot and I just wasn't sure that I was going to be able to control the amount of distress that I was going to get. So doing as I do, I either have a header or a footer or a right border or a left border on my layouts. I just like that that grounds the layout and so you can see the multicolor stripe that I want to use and I decide I want to have a few more of these Polaroids. I wasn't sure how many initially I was going to use because I do have a lot of photos. I have um, four photos total. Two I end up cutting circular, one to fit in the inside of the Polaroid, one to just complement that because I don't want that to be the only circle, and then two that are four by three. You can see from the um, yeah, collages there that I've printed off of my uh, Epson Picture Mate printer there. So now I've decided I'm pretty much going to do two rows um, and how am I going to arrange these rows? I also want to be mindful of um, the colors that I use of these Polaroids because I don't want uh, pink and pink sitting next to each other. I kind of want to scatter the color in order to disperse the, the really kind of bright colors that these paddle boards are. So these photos are of our first um, paddle boarding trip of the year. We uh, had taken them out the night before and inflated them to make sure that there were no holes and there weren't going to be any disasters. And this is our first trip out. And that was May 3rd, um, which I guess is still kind of spring, but it was beginning of summer for my son because he was home um, for summer break or he had one week of school left before being home for summer break. So close enough. Um, and it sure feels like summer. I mean, the humidity here in Virginia is just blah, it's oppressive. Um, and it's got, yeah, it's gonna get hotter. Anyway, so cutting out the photos, um, I have a white border around the one of my son and his reflection. And then I just kept, um, the actual photo itself with no border on the photo down below. Um, I like the white and the ivory mix because that white just gives a little bit more crispness to things. So I have gone to my uh, silhouette and cut out a uh, backing. So you'd seen that I already had the outline um, for the Polaroid. So I'm going to cut out a backing 
And instead of putting the photo at the top where it kind of like would pop out, um, I am putting it, or I think, they, don't they come out the side? Anyway, I don't know where they come out. I put it in, in the lens viewer, the lens right there in the center, just because um, I, I liked it there. I liked it there better. And that meant that um, I could, you could see more of the photo really. So now I've got all my elements. I just need to um, decide how I'm going to arrange them. I know I want to use the foam sticker that says summer so that the complete title says summer snapshots. Um, and really it's only a fragment of time summer snapshots, but sometimes you have what you have and you got to make that work. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, I could have done snapshots of a summer moment, but it's just too wordy. So that's what I went with. So this is pretty much the configuration that I am going to go with. So I am going to go ahead and commit to that and adhere all of those things down. And that will uh, provide the foundation for um, my layout there. So again, I am um, creating this layout for the scrap room. It is a kit club. Um, you can subscribe to one offs if there are extras available. Um, I will link you to that information in the description box down below. Um, there are two types actually well there are two scrapbooking main types of kits that you can get there's the flavors of the month which is four flavors I love that Rochelle chooses um, all of the papers and I don't have to coordinate anything and then there's also the double shot which is just two collections um, and there are no add-ons available for the double shot but for the flavors of the month there are embellishment add-ons uh, pattern paper add-ons as well as cardstock add-ons. Um, there's also a card kit as well as a pocket kit as well. So be sure to check those out in the description box down below. So now I'm just adding some embellishment to this. Um, there's a lot of color in it already. Uh, so you don't really need a ton of embellishment. Um, just have fun with it and the, the beauty of this is that if you get the embellishment add-on, which I always get, um, you you have a ton of embellishments to really just make this personalize this and make this yours so i've got a few of the journaling pieces a few of the ephemera pieces um, that little tag that i put to the right hand side there that says summer fun and it says who where and when um, and so i will go ahead and fill out the the who where when and when and then i'm going to actually journal in that orange polaroid spot there um, the rest of the polaroids i'm just leaving empty i'm using them more for the color than anything uh, if you follow me and you follow my work you know that i use a lot of uh, the foam adhesive i love to pop up elements just for some dimension on my pages and i like um, when I use the foam pieces in a collection, I like to complement that with pieces that are additionally popped up so that um, you have a balance so that it's not just that one skyscraper in the middle of your layout there. And it's not a skyscraper, but the, the one hill, I'll say, raising, rising up above the horizon. So I am actually off camera going to add a few other embellishments than what I do here. Um, I'll put a baseball cap next to that sun hat, as well as uh, flip flops and some sunnies uh, above summer tucked into the edge of the photo there. So close ups to follow. Enjoy the close ups. I hope you are doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.